All right, Rob here coming back at you with another Guitar Crate video. So Guitar Crate is a subscription service that I found on my Instagram feed, and it has various package levels you can subscribe at. You can get acoustic, bass, six, seven, eight string guitar. Um, they have a pedal of the month club too, which uh, I'm not adventurous enough to go into, but I signed up for the two pack of strings a month club. And so it's $40 a month. And they say it ships out on the 7th of the month. Reality, what that means is they print the label around the 7th. Uh, they have a pickup that comes in a couple days later. And I just received my June box today. So that should tell you. And I'm in Pennsylvania, coming from Connecticut. You know, usually it's uh, two, three days. So that, that just gives you an idea. No, no complaints, just giving you a realistic idea. Expect it in the middle of the month. Maybe a little bit longer in more remote locations. So... Quick recap, this is what the May 2020 box contained. It was two packs of strings, Diodario XL, nothing crazy there, just good, good, reliable string that works well. This weird pick thing, I'm never going to use it. It's a pick insert, you put different gauges in there, and it goes on this rubber, and I don't know. World's ugliest guitar strap. This is the world's ugliest guitar strap. What you do with this is you steal your bandmate's strap, and when, this is when you forget your strap. You steal theirs, and you go, oh, man, you're, you don't have a strap. Here, I got one in my bag. I'll throw this in the bag, and I'll tell you, it is super high quality. Uh, I bet I could probably tow a Honda with this, uh, putting it on a hitch and just pulling it. But this was the star of the show for last month. So last month, the Music Nomad Multi-Tool. So you get a bunch of different bits. Let me move this in the camera. You can tell this is a professional production because I'm using my iPhone with the camera in reverse. And it has all sorts of various little bits there. And you could do almost almost any major setup stuff with it. Um, obviously, any true setup kit should have a machinist straight edge, a notched uh, fret edge, and a few other tools in there, radius gauges, stuff like that. But th this here will get you through a lot. What was cool with this is, so you have a magnetic tip holder. You have one attachment here. You have another one here. You have one on each end and the top. And I've already used this a few times. I already have all the tools to do all the stuff that, uh, let me see if I can get this back in there. There it is. Uh, to do all this work, but this here, it's super nice. And while I question the plastic's durability, and this is not Guitar Crate, this is Music Nomad. Important distinction, Music Nomad. I question the long-term durability because it's plastic. But because it's plastic and you're not jamming a piece of metal right on your guitar, um, pretty good stuff. I think that's an invaluable tool. So last month, uh, the strap and that weird pick thing kind of underwhelmed me, but I liked getting the strings in full retail packaging, mind you. Okay, so when I buy strings, I buy them in bulk. I buy 10 to 25 sets at a time. When you do that, you get them in a sealed blister, and that sealed blister comes with all of the other sealed blisters in a box. That's not retail packaging. What you get from Guitar Crate, full retail packaging on your strings. Not full retail packaging on the toll or the strap. That's all right. Just letting you know, the strings are not factory seconds. They're not runoffs, anything like that. It's full retail. All right, so this is last month. Let's get this month going and find out what we got. So we're in for a surprise together. What do we got here? Some anchors and screws are two packs of strings. We'll get back to that. Let's just get it all out. All right. Sticker. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I didn't get a sticker last month. I don't know if that's uh, every month. Not a big deal to me. And I'll put that on something. That, that'd be cool on like a road case or whatever. Spanner wrench. All right. Let's check this out. Music Nomad. Another another company that makes great stuff. Uh, I use their... It's called F1 Oil. I started using it basically as a middle finger to a guy. 
that had been bragging about it. What he had said was the uh, F1 oil was the best thing ever. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a trade secret. This is the God's honest truth. I repair a lot of guitars. I work on a lot of guitars. I set up a lot of guitars. I own a lot of guitars. Almost every single fretboard oil is mineral oil with some sort of other chemical added to it. Like for example, old English furniture polish, the lemon oil there, it's mineral oil with lemoline scent or however you say that save yourself the money buy lemon oil or get one of those kits that stuff comes with use it any you have to practically try to screw up oiling a fretboard to hurt it anyway uh, music nomad makes really great stuff i started getting with them um right right around the f1 era um of the oil and i started using it and it's a great great product and then the music nomad multi tool this here is a Music Nomad spanner wrench, and when you get it, it comes with a pad that you can mount to it. These will run you seven to 10 bucks at a music store. Now, I don't know if you can see this on my, my great quality iPhone video. Maybe here my finger. There's teeth here, smooth here, same here. Now this here, what this tool is for, you can do a lot of different adjustments and tightenings with this. Very, very good on the circular toggle switches. I've seen a lot of people grab a pair of channel locks and really chew them up. You don't need to do that with this. This is a great tool. This here is the little rubber foot, so you don't per, uh, damage the finish. About, about 10 bucks. Let's call it a, a solid 10 bucks. We have a Dunlop pick holder. It seems actually higher quality than Dunlop strings. Um, you know, it's a good quality leather, it's stitched, and inside it comes three picks. Now, I won't use these picks, only, and it has nothing to do with a pick. I use a particular shape pick. I'm going to hold this backwards. I don't want to put my logo out there. I don't want to make this about me. Uh, I use a very sharp pick. I have a logo put on one side, and uh, I've been using those for 12 years, so it's hard for me to use a rounded tip. What I'll do with these is I'll take them to a band room. Hey, you guys need some picks? Throw these in your bag. So this is pretty cool. You have a little holder, and I can't tell you how many times I've been places where I didn't have, uh, you know, a pick in my case that I thought I did. And we've all been there, you know, like, oh, I threw 10 picks in the case, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Well, what the hell happens? You use them, you put them in your pocket, they end up in the washer, the wife, the girlfriend, the mom, whoever. But uh, you probably figure one of these, probably three or five bucks. And I bet uh, with the spanner wrench and with this, I bet if you were at a music store, and you bought a guitar, they would probably throw one of these in just as a gimme. Now, I'm going to tell you a dirty secret, and people don't like me saying this kind of shit. Accessories are where music stores make a lot of money. They do not make them... You make them. Make that money. I'm sorry, let me, let me do this correctly. They do not make a lot of money selling you a guitar. Yes, they make money. But for example... Let's pretend that you're going into a music store and you're buying a Fender Squire Strat pack. That'll have your Fender Squire Stratocaster, an amp, a cable, a strap, maybe a set of strings, whatever. The music store's profit on that might be $40. In that time, they've paid a probably minimum wage or slightly above minimum wage employee to get you that Strat pack. He worked with you for about a half hour, maybe an hour. Now, by the time the employer pays FICA, MICA, FUDA, SUDA, all the taxes, that doesn't make them a lot of money. But they buy quantity of strings. They sell you the strings at, let's say it's $7. They paid $3 or $4. That's a heck of a lot of markup. And I'm not complaining. This is just an explainer. Things like this. They probably pay 50, 60 cents, maybe a dollar for they sell them for four bucks. Well, that's 400%, you know. Accessories are where music stores survive. And if you have a local music store, you owe it to yourself to go out there and support them. They need your help, especially with the coronavirus pandemic and probably being closed. And here's the thing. Guitar players didn't stop playing guitar. Even though my show stopped, I still played. I needed strings. I still order online. Um... Same thing with parts, accessories, stuff like that. That's where your music store keeps its overhead and where it stays alive. 
So if you have a local music store, just try and shop local, buy something, handful of picks, whatever, it doesn't matter, it, anything helps them. And full disclosure, I do not work for a music store. All right, so the next item, we have a very heavy duty string swing. This is an on-stage item, uh, I'm sorry, on-stage brand. When the weight's on it, these things lock up. One of these, my guess, and I'm only taking a guess here, would set you back about $20. Um, no retail packaging here. This is just, here's this, here's this, here's this, and here's this. Have fun. Go go hang the goddamn thing. Um, my advice to you, I would not drywall mount any guitar that I cared about. And when I say that, I don't mean an expensive guitar. Expensive is relative. $200 to some people is their entire monthly budget. $200 to other people is their yearly budget. Some people have $4,000 guitars. Some people have $200 guitars. I would not put my $200 guitar or my $4,000 guitar on this with these in drywall. I would mount to a stud. That's my advice there. Or what you can do, say you can't, you, you want to have it decoratively placed. You know, you want to have it center span somewhere and you can't hit a, uh, hit a stud. Go buy a piece of oak wood or, or any nice hard wood and span it across two studs. Fasten it to the two studs, fasten this to that in the middle or something. Just my advice because, you know, you don't want to have everything you worked for fall down right on the ground. Um, but I think this is actually really neat. Uh, it has a rubber back, nice padding here. Uh, let's see, I have a Charvel handy. Would that fit in there? Yeah, oh yeah, that would hold that real nice. Um, and if it holds a Charvel, it should hold a Paul, Paul Reed. Oh yeah, and it locks in place with that too, just in my hand. So yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what, um, pretty good. Probably one of these, I have the, uh, oh, who makes them? It's, um, oh gosh, and you, this is how you can tell I do this live and without production. I'm using an iPhone, reverse faced, lay it on a desk, and uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, String Swing, that's where I buy mine from. And I pay about $12 after shipping and everything for, if I buy one of them, if I buy multiple, it's cheaper. But this here, I mean, you know, threads in, pops in, bang. You have all of this holding your guitar. Good stuff, real good stuff. So that here, this is the June 2020 guitar crate. The contents of the June 2020 guitar crate. The stand with the hardware not retail packaging. And to be truthful, I think this is what helps um, Guitar Crate do this, is they are not using retail packaging on some items. It's a little cheaper. And just for example, uh, and you can, you can verify this yourself, go online and look on Amazon, look at one pack of strings, and then look at 25 packs of strings, and then do the per pack cost. Retail packaging costs you a lot of money. So we got this figure 20 bucks value. I destroyed the box opening this, and I'm sorry. You got a Music Nomad spanner wrench, figure 10 bucks for this. So we're at $30. The picks, I'm just gonna say your music store would give them to you because any music store I've been to, except for Guitar Center, um, has given me picks to play with whenever I play the guitar. And usually I have my own in my pocket, but you know, if you're a regular, you go in. This here, probably four bucks. So we're at um, $34. Two packs of strings. When I buy these in bulk, I pay about $4.50, $4 a pack, right, right around there. It depends on the market, the month. Uh, but full retail packaging adds price to that. So let's call these $7 a piece. So $14, $24, what do we call this? Three or five, I don't know. We'll call it six just to be crazy. So 30 bucks. 50 bucks. Now, one of the things Guitar Crate advertises is that everything in the box will add up to at least what you paid. The really cool thing about Guitar Crate, the absolutely cool thing is, so far, and I only have two boxes, you receive things that you may have passed over from a music store, but you like it. 
The bad thing is you receive things that you would have passed over at a music store. And there's a reason you passed over them. But so far, I'm happy with my subscription. Uh, I got four packs of strings. I got a string swing, a spanner wrench, a little pick thing that I'm probably never going to put on my keychain, hardware that I'm never going to use. Um, and, and this is nothing against Guitar Crate. This is purely, I would not trust my investment to that. It's just not going to happen, ever. And then with the other box that I chucked wherever I chucked it, uh, I got a really great multi tool, a couple more packs of strings, a strap that what you do, and every gigging guitarist, every gigging guitarist should have a backup bag. What is in your backup bag? A strap, a multi tool, a pack of strings, cable for your cabinet to your head, cable for your guitar to your amp. Cable for the board to the amp. Basically, my backup bag can replicate all the cabling that I need for an entire show. So if every single one of my cables fails, I'm still good. Um, my And I'll, maybe I'll do a video on that, my personal backup bag. Yeah, instead of making this 20-minute uh, video, I'll do that in a separate video. But I'm actually excited to use this. I have friends, uh, actually Les Pauls, uh, in my shop right now that I have to work on. And uh, I'm looking forward to using this. I really am. So, all right, there you have it, Guitar Crate. July 2020, bang, bang, two sets of strings, Dunlop thing, string holder with the template. So everything that would come in the retail packaging, just minus retail packaging, and retail packaging on my spanner wrench. And I got to be honest with you, I am most excited about this. I have these, but, you know, mine's probably, oh God, 10 years old. I, I bet I've had one of these. And, and you know what? If you're doing any tech work, these never come up on the, the list of tools that you should own. Buy one of these. It's worth the money. All right, come back at you next month.